they have lost the moral turpitude to even question the smallest of things. Members of civil society organizations are not surprised that President Chiori Museveni came to the defense of the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Among, against whom accusations of corruption have been made. It is just clear that if you are looking for a leader to fight corruption, it cannot be resident. It is not domiciled in Mr. Museveni. So I think uh, this we have known over the last uh, now four decades, that corruption is not one of the things he's strong at. And so it did not surprise him. Museveni criticized individuals behind the unverified exposes on social media for pushing foreign interests. Earlier, Among had pointed at being targeted for her stand against homosexuality. When you talk so much on the social media about Anita Mong, Anita Mong, how about the ones who are working for foreigners? Any other homosexuals, the imperialists who want, who want Uganda, Af Africa to be a slave again? We are going to expose those traitors. Members of the civil society organizations are concerned that the intervention by President Museveni has closed this file by disinteresting anti corruption agencies from questioning the accountability. The president should have at least set up a committee to probe these allegations. In, 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 in a country where the, the tone at the top is serious uh, in terms of fighting corruption, the president should have instigated a commission of inquiry to, even when you don't intend to do anything about it, at least be seen to be taking action. Because the people have come out and said here, here is the evidence. It is here. It is glaring. With accountability issues largely undressed, the critics argue that the institution has lost credibility. That's why they've been making so many recommendations and they're not being implemented. We have seen people being summoned and they don't turn up. And I think uh, with this exhibition and information coming out, it will only work towards denting further the image of parliament. And I don't think that uh, there is any institution in anybody who will take parliament seriously. Agaba advises against losing hope in the fight against corruption, even as many perceive that the authorities responsible are not interested in taking action. He argues that the expose alone is worthwhile. So I think we haven't really lost the war against corruption. I think as citizens and, uh, and, and other uh, like-minded actors, we just need to, to, to come, come together much more strongly and find other ways to continue to manage for accountability. According to figures by the Inspectorate of Government, government loses 10 trillion shillings annually to corruption, which is equivalent to the combined budget for roadworks and education. The Inspectorate of Government decided to keep its hands out of the matter with an indication that Office of the Auditor General is pursuing the matter. Jackson Onyango, NTV. <laughs> and the 